Hey, Phil here. I'm going to talk to you about something that I think is important. You may have heard the news that Universal Analytics is retiring in mid-2023, and now it's time to switch to Google Analytics 4. If you're trying to switch to Google Analytics 4 or you haven't thought much about this, that's okay. I've done a few of these, and I'm going to share with you a basic workflow that you can use to get Google Analytics 4 migrated to your sites. So uh, let's get started. All right, let's talk about the situation. As I mentioned, Google Analytics is gonna sunset. You may have received an email or you may see a warning in your Universal Analytics account, but basically the last sessions are gonna register in mid to late 2023. Also, I'll share this link if you're interested. Okay, so it says July 1st, 23. So with that in mind, it's time to create a new Google Analytics 4 account. And so you can't migrate your data. This is really why it matters. Google Analytics 4 starts at zero, so you should start collecting your data now, which is what I recommend to all my other clients, and you can run them both at the same time until Analytics retires. I'm gonna show you how to do this at a very high level using Google Tag Manager, and this is a great opportunity to implement Google Tag Manager on your site today. All right, so this is the process. I'm, I'll put this in the description as well so you can follow along, but I'm going to go into each one of these steps. Again, this is very high level. I just want you to take this workflow and work on it uh, in your own website. Every website's slightly different. Every CMS is slightly different. So you're going to have to go through this, but uh, all right, without much further ado, let's get started. So step one is the access stuff. And if it's your site, this is not a big deal, but if it's a client site, you need to say, hey, can you add me to the GA account, right? And you can direct your client to go to admin, account settings, the little plus symbol on the top right to grant access for you to be able to see the universal analytics data. If you already have that access, you can skip this step. Step two, go down into um, universal analytics and find out in behavior events and admin, goals, how many of these need to be recreated and kind of like what needs to migrate, write them down into a list. So your client may have told you what KPIs are important that are not inside Universal Analytics. So write down all the KPIs that you want to track on your new GA4 property, including the old stuff and maybe new stuff that they haven't mentioned to you. All right. And then you're going to create a new GTM account. No big deal add GTM to your site. Now that's a little sticky. You might have to go, I work in the WordPress world, right? So there's a lot of plugins that could help you add GTM to your site, like insert header and footers, but it really depends on your CMS. Some themes have this stuff natively um, in Webflow. This was super easy. So it really depends on your CMS. Just make sure you add that GTM to the site and GTM says it's all good. All right, so now I want you to create your new Google Analytics 4 account if you haven't already, and you're gonna add GA4 to Google Tag Manager. This is a super simple step. You're gonna grab the measurement ID inside GA4 and add it inside the GA4 tag in GTM. Um, not too tough, just you gotta know where the nested menus are and hopefully the stuff on screen helps you out with that. All right. Now you're going to build the universal analytics events in GA4. Here's the tough stuff, right? So you got to build events that deliver the same data value as previous universal analytics event and goals. So if you had, for example, tracked clicks, newsletter opt-ins and purchases, you want to make sure that you build clicks, newsletter opt-ins and purchases inside Google Analytics 4. Each site will be different. Um, and with this one, uh, this kind of warrants its own video, so we should likely talk about that in the future. But anyways, you're just reproducing the stuff that you've identified in your Universal Analytics audit and discussions with the clients inside GA4. Yeah, and to be honest, this is where the heavy lifting is done. Reach out with any questions if you're looking for specific stuff. And then lastly, test your traffic in real time. It's super important to test your traffic in your GA account. And if you see your traffic and your conversions inside GA4, then congratulations, you've done it. Now, I hey, so now that you've done that testing, these are the deliverables, kind of the summary, right? What have we delivered? You've created Google Tag Manager and added it to the site. You've added Google Analytics 4 to the site. 
your goals and events are rebuilt in Universal Analytics and you've migrated those. So you're good to go as long as you see those conversions and traffic inside GA4 and you're running Universal Analytics and GA4 side by side. So super fast recap, right? Uh, you're gonna get the access. You're gonna audit and say, hey, what events do I need to reproduce? You're going to build Google Tag Manager and add it to the site if it's not already there. You're gonna add GA4 tags to the Google Tag Manager. And here's where the heavy lifting is, is you're gonna rebuild those events in GA4 uh, inside GTM. Always test, test, test to make sure you got it. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd be remiss to not mention that I offer this as a service. So if you need help with this, let me know. If you're struggling with this stuff, drop a comment and let me know where you're struggling. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this is insightful. Definitely take my workflow, it's yours. And let me know how it goes because I think this should cover about 90% of all these implementations. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if it's helped. Take care, bye-bye.